Hey guys, HCG Chica. I am checking in. Today is BLCD32. Good news. I was down one whole pound this morning. I couldn't believe it. Not only was I down a whole pound on the scale, but when I did my body fat percent with my handheld Omron body fat monitor, I've been talking about it. I wanted to show it to you guys again. It's You hold it out like this. Um, to take your body fat percent, um, it also was down a whole pound. So I was very, very happy to see that. So now I'm 119.2. I can't believe I'm in the teens. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've been in the teens. 119.2. I have 23 pounds of fat, and that puts me at 19.2% body fat. It's kind of interesting, actually. I'm 119.2. My body fat percent's 19.2. I don't know, it's just kind of funny. Anyway, I'm so excited. Um, this handheld monitor, um, I have found it to be pretty accurate. I mentioned in my other vlog that I just had my body fat tested hydrostatically about three or four days ago, and it was actually completely accurate. It was 100% accurate. Um, when I'm not on HCG, it's not 100% accurate. It's usually off by a couple percent, but I have found it to be very consistent, and I'm really pleased to see a lot more HCGers using this. Um, the ones that they sell now look a little bit different than this, because this one's actually like 16 years old. It's a really old one, um, but you can buy them on Amazon. They're only like 30 bucks, and I actually have a link to the actual monitor on my website, hcgchica.com. I have like a little store page with just links to different um, P2, you know, friendly tools, and I have that on there if you want to go see it. So that was exciting. Now the other thing I wanted to share, I didn't share this the other day, about a week ago, I um I was feeling kind of flabby. I was feeling kind of flabby. You know, it's been it had been about four weeks by that point, or three and a half three and a half weeks since I had been to CrossFit. And I was like, man, I haven't even like hardly lifted a finger. I should, you know, do some push-ups and I don't know, try to do a pull-up or something. So I've never been able to do a pull-up. Um except when I was like super, super thin many, many years ago. One time I did one pull up and that was the only time I ever did it was that one time, that was it. Um, it's very hard for women to do pull ups. There's two ways to do pull ups. Um, there's, if you do it like this, it's kind of most of the work is being done by your biceps. Typically that's easier to do and that's something that I can already do. I can do a pull up using my bicep strength. I can do like one. And I was already able to do that a couple months ago. However, um, the other way to do pull-ups, which is harder and is, I don't know, I guess, it, at least in CrossFit, it's considered the real way to do pull-ups, is with your forearms, not like this, but like this. And that actually engages your back and your lat muscles. So, and it's very hard, okay? Um, before I started this round, I've been, you know, we do them in CrossFit all the time. And I, I can't get very high. I can only pull myself up probably a third of the way, okay? And that's how things were. That's how things stood as of a month ago. So um, the other night, a week ago, I was at 122. I pulled out my pull-up bar. I put it up, you know, in my little hobby room. And um, I was like, oh, I'm going to just, I don't know, just pull on it. I just felt like I needed to stretch myself. And so I was telling it to my husband, like, oh, I'm going to, you know, see where I'm at with my pull-ups. And I proceeded to do an entire pull-up the real way with my back muscles by myself. I, I couldn't believe it. I was, so, I just couldn't believe it. I just walked up and I did a pull-up. I mean, overnight, I can do a pull-up now. Um, it's so crazy. I'm going to show you guys a video clip now of me doing one just a little bit ago, actually almost two. So that's me doing a pull up. I'm, I just, I can't believe it because I went from only being able to pull myself up about a third of the way to basically overnight being able to do a complete pull-up. I don't know if you understand the significance of this, but it's very significant. Um, especially for a woman, that is so amazing. I think the trouble is, 
I don't know if this is true, but I think the reason it's so difficult for women to do pull-ups is because we're usually bottom heavy. I think that could be why, you know, and so it's just we don't have enough strength in our upper body to pull up our bottom, bottom heavy bottoms and hips. Um, I don't know if that's the reason, but I can tell you guys, there are women at CrossFit. Um, my CrossFit gym, there's a woman, she's actually a trainer now, and she's seriously into like heavy weightlifting. Um, but for the life of her, even though she's super strong, she still, you know, carries um, a healthy amount of fat on her bottom half. Um, and she can't really seem to get her to budge. Of course, you know, she hasn't done HCG. So as a result, she cannot do a pull-up. Even though she's a trainer, she can lift, you know, super heavy weights with, you know, a bar and big old weights on the sides and do all these squats and all this stuff. She basically told me she gave up on doing a pull-up because she's been trying for so long and just cannot do it. And I think it has to do with the fact that you need to lose enough fat on your lower half as a woman to be able to pull yourself up. So anyway, I don't know how many of you care, really care about this, but um, I care. It's near and dear to my heart. And I'm just, I'm just so stoked <laughs> um, that not only can I do one, but that I went from being so far away from being able to do one to all of a sudden doing it 100%. Um, usually, you know, you have to gradually get stronger, and I, you know, eventually I'd pull myself halfway up, and then it was three quarters, and then all the way. But with HCG, I lost enough fat that within a few weeks, I, I never, I haven't tried to do a pull up in that whole time, that whole round. I haven't even tried, and then all of a sudden I could do one. So, wow, I'm, I don't know, I'm still in shock about it. Um, so I'm excited and. I'm doing good. I'm going to definitely finish out this week for sure. And I may even I may even do the sixth week. I don't know. Um, I may do the full long round. I'm feeling good. I feel like my fat loss is actually picking up more now. Now that I'm, you know, in the beginning of a round, you're always going to lose some water weight and glycogen in your muscles and all that. And I expect all of that to come back as, after this round's over. So now I'm actually in fat loss mode. So I feel like I'm really actually achieving something that's more permanent at the moment. So um, I would love to get to, you know, 20 pounds of fat. I'm at 23 right now. Um, the hydrostatic body fat technician that I see, his name is Aaron, um, he said technically no person needs more than 20 pounds of fat on their body. And I'm almost there. You know, I'm only three pounds away from that. Um, of course, we'll see as stabilization goes. I've never been... Well, I have been this small, but not since I was in my late teens. So, you know, I don't I don't know how easy that's going to be. Um, but obviously, um, what HCG considers as abnormal fat is, is a lot of fat. I mean, I, I guess it's basically wherever there's, like, bulges and stuff. It's technically you don't really need to have that bulge. So, I don't know. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.